Hello guys and welcome to the show. Today I want to talk with you about HUD8. Uh, it's my second video about a Bitcoin miner. And um, yeah, uh, HUD8 in my opinion is very interesting. And uh, I will show you why. Okay, so first of all, we check out the, the homepage, the website of HUD8. Um, they say here they find 12,300 Bitcoins. And um, they have 94 data centers. These are the containers we can uh, we can see here. They have a yeah a very special um, data center technique. Um, a lot of um, a lot of containers. Uh, each each one consumes um, roughly 1.1 megawatt. So it's very flexible, um, very mobile. Um, they have 107 megawatts and 900. 52 petahertz they say here on the homepage. But um, what we know about Bitcoin miners, um, their homepages are often not um, not updated. So we check out the presentation and um, you can click here, and then the new presentation is um, here. So they have um, here. It's a little bit more detailed. In Medicine Hat, they have 50 block box data centers, and in Drumheller, they have 38, and six are for hosting. So um, the total is 94, so that's correct. And uh, but um, because they sold six megawatt to a hosting client, uh, they have right now only 97 megawatts for self mining and um, 875 petahertz um, mining power. So, and uh, they bought um, a lot of new equipment um, in uh, in September, uh, 1000M31S and an additional 1000M31S plus with 72 and 78 terahash per, per machine. Um, so altogether it's um, yeah, 100 petahash additional. So that's included in the 875 um, petahertz total. Um, what's really interesting about them, um, they the price per terahash is um, yeah 70.55 at 95.8. So that's very cheap um, compared to other miners. Um, and in November, in this month, they will get another batch of 1,590 units um, with a price per terahash uh, of 18.65 US dollars and they will have another additional 100 petahash so in November we can add 100 petahash so they have roughly 1000 petahash at the end of November I hope so um, that's a pretty good number okay but um, yeah let's get into go get into detail about hard aid and uh, where they are what they're doing First of all, uh, we can check out their locations. Um, they have uh, one mining center in Drumheller. Um, I will show you where this is. This is here in Canada, Alberta. They have um, yeah, the smaller data center here in Drumheller and the other one in Medicine Hat. So first we zoom out, then zoom in. Medicine Hat here and Drumheller here. It's a good region for mining because it's uh, the, the climate is not too hot. It's 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 Canada, so it's cold. Uh, that's good to cooling the the data center, and the prices are very cheap in this region, um, between three and four cents per kilowatt hours per kilowatt hour. Okay. Um, so now let's uh, check out the data. Um, if we check the stock price. Um, the stock price is right today rising a little bit. <coughs> okay, now that's BTC price. Wait a second. Um, yeah, it's 1.24 Canadian dollars, so it's below one US dollar uh, today. Um, the market cap is 117 million uh, Canadian dollars, so it's below 100 million US dollars. Yeah, in my opinion, it's very cheap, but it's my own opinion. Make your own research here. Um, yeah, and now we want to check a little bit more the data. 
yeah, the Q, the Q, the Q3 um, financial results um, they presented a few days ago, and yeah, a few very interesting things we can we can see here. Um, first of all, the revenue from mining and from hosting in this quarter, in the last quarter, from July to September, it was below six million Canadian dollars. So compared to, to other quarters, it was very low. And the site operating cost, which includes electricity, and um, wait a second, I will zoom a little bit in. Yeah, okay. Uh, the site operating cost with maintenance and electricity, mainly maintenance, 80% or so, uh, is higher than the revenue. So that's pretty bad for a miner if uh, the revenue is below their operational costs because then there's depreciation So for the data center. So they have a negative cross profit here. But what's very interesting with Hive, they have a value, revaluation of digital digital assets. So uh, they have a lot of coins in store, in, in their cold storage. And um, if Bitcoin gains in price, um, yeah, they have a huge revaluation here. But then they have the, the fixed costs, the expenses. In my opinion, they are pretty low, below 1 million US dollars. So they're pretty low cost. But their net income is negative, um, not that much. Um, and I will show you why. The good thing with HUD 8 is the coin inventory. So in my opinion, it's very important to read the, the whole sheet. Um, I will show you the, the Bitcoin holdings here. So in December 2018, they had 3,035 Bitcoins. Uh, end of last year, they had 2,923, and now they have 2,851 bitcoins. Um, for a bear market, I think it's it's a very high number compared to other miners. Uh, in my, as I know, uh, the biggest number of uh, the coin balance or bitcoin balance. And yeah, um, what is important here is that. Uh, 1865 at that time were co collateral um, for their loan of 20 million they have but um, it's 20 million US dollars and um, now Bitcoin is at 80,000 US dollars so right now um, only 1200 uh, Bitcoins or something like this would be collateralized so their digital assets would be uh, very much above 1000 more um, into the into the area of 2000 bitcoins and um, yeah let's estimate um, bitcoin will rise next year uh, let's take a number 200,000 US dollars okay and they have 2000 bitcoins in, in their uh, cold storage so um, they would have 400 million US dollars um, without doing anything so only store them so uh, and that's not revenue that's income so uh, they will have more income than revenue i i don't think that the the stock exchange have ever seen something like this um if this happens but first of all it's all about the price of bitcoin if the bitcoin price will not is not going up then the the hot eight will not go uh will not rise but um i think there are insane post potentials here but um yeah what is very important is that they improve their mining margin. I mean, they ordered um, they ordered a lot of, of, of machines, but they have to increase their their next generation mining equipment because um, you cannot have um, negative mining margins uh, for a long time. So, and that's why I think uh, the stock price didn't uh, gain as much as, for example, Riot blockchain or Hive blockchain or something like this. But um, I think HUD8 is, is very undervalued because of their big Bitcoin hold, holdings. Um, that's why I like um, HUD8 very much. Um, yeah, let's check out the, the assets uh, from HUD8. Um, yeah, they have cash, more than 2 million Canadian dollars. That's good. They have their coins, as I showed you, not collateral. So that's their own coins. These coins um, are uh, the collateral. And they had some prepaids for electricity, so they have 46 million 
on current assets and non current the the plant and the equipment so it's 72 million canadian dollars roughly yeah and they have and there they have the loan of 27 million canadian dollars it's uh, about 20 million us dollars um the match the majority of this amount is um, has a due date on May 2021. For example, um, if the price of Bitcoin rises to 50,000 US dollar per coin, uh, they can um, make a payback with uh, less, uh, a lot less than uh, 500, uh, 500 Bitcoins. So most of their coins they they can store in their own cold storage and uh, that's very interesting here but uh, we will see how, how how this will develop here um yeah so um i like the balance um they have cash they have a lot of coins in their storage what i don't like is their efficiency and yeah i will show you a few details here uh, from my analysis um yeah, their strategy is selling and accumulation. I really like this accumulation strategy. The electricity rate is yeah four, roughly four cents. The power is gas, wind, and uh, the grid mix. Um, as I said, in Medicine Head, the big facility there has 65, and in Drumheller, 38 megawatts. So altogether 103, but um, six or seven megawatts are uh, for a hosting client, so they have 96 megawatts available. 875 petahertz and efficiency of 9, 9.1 petahertz per megawatt or terahertz per kilowatt in my opinion that's too low they have to improve it um, other miners have 20 petahertz per megawatt and that's the goal for for, for hot eight here hot eight here um, efficiency is should be much better um, yes and then their margins will improve a lot but as I said, the holdings, Bitcoin holdings, are were the biggest one of, of the miners with 2,851. I mean, that's a huge number. For example, now Bitcoin is at 80,000 US dollars. So <laughs> their holdings now are at 51,000, uh, 51 million US dollars. Let's say in March next year. It will go to Bitcoin rises to fifty thousand US dollars, so their holdings would be one hundred forty-two, and then they have to pay back um, the majority of their loan of twenty million. You can see that uh, <laughs> one hundred twenty-two million are their own coins, so um, the the loan is, isn't isn't that big if Bitcoin rises until May next year. Okay, uh, so let's check out and on what to mine. I I, I made the calculation. Um, I will show you um, how much Bitcoins do they mine today um, with these numbers: 875 petahertz, 97 megawatts, and four cents. And um, in this calculation, they mine 6.92 bitcoins today with a profit of 30,744 US dollars. And that's a cross profit of 25%. It's without maintenance. I, I will improve it in the next few shows. So then it will be a little, little bit more realistic. So in my opinion, they now have a small positive cross mining margin. What well, is very good. Um, but um, it's not enough. They it will have to order new machines, and um, in December uh, we can check out the news. In December they will uh, they they um, they have a new um, a new CEO, and the new CEO um, will start from December in December. Jamie Leverton is her name, and I think then that's the time when things will change. Um, a few other miners they they now lease equipment maybe that's interesting for for hard eight i hope so that they will lease new mining machines um leasing i think is very good because they don't have to touch their bitcoin holdings for buying new new machines 
Um, and uh, it it will not cost initially initially much, um, because the costs are yeah maybe for for the, for two years, they are extended there, and um, I hope they will do something like this, and then uh, yeah I mean um, the valuation is at 100 million US dollar right now for the whole company. Um, if Bitcoin goes to 200 thousand US dollars, which is my estimation, but um, it could go to 100,000 to 50,000 we don't know it um, it's not financial advice but when they when bitcoin goes to 220,000 their 2,000 bitcoins uh, will be worth 400 million only the bitcoins and um, yeah uh, that's why i like hard eight it's it has a big potential but uh, we should not forget that bitcoin mining is very risky um, a lot of things can happen i mean it could burn down uh, the coins could be stolen uh, a government can ban mining in the country. So there are a lot of risk, but there is huge, huge, huge potential. And um, if they are successful, um, they will be a, a mining giant, or they are a mining giant, but uh, the stock price will look very different or could look very different in the future. So um, very exciting times ahead. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see um, other topics about hard eight then write down in the comment section um, the channel is still very small so yeah i can i can answer you and uh, i can maybe i can make a new video thank you very much and have a good day bye